A very good evening to you, friends back at home, and thank you so much for joining us here at Y254. This is the news highlights, and my name is Elizabeth Ngena. So, our conversation today is going to be all about breakups, bad breakups for that matter. We're going to look at how we can turn, or how we can make a breakup to be a stepping stone to growth or to the next levels of our lives as opposed to uh, allowing it to destroy us, allowing it to make us give up, give up in life or make bad decisions. So for that discussion, with me in the studio, I have a very fiery woman who is going, who uh, first has a stake in the topic and you're going to be getting uh, her insights on the same. So remember you can follow this conversation on our social media pages at Y254 at Y254 channel that is on Twitter and at Ngena underscore Lizzie on Twitter as well. Yeah, so uh, at this point I'm just, I'll give you a chance to introduce yourself. Good evening viewers, my name is Angela Katua. I'm an inspirational speaker and a, trans a transformational coach. Okay, well, yeah. thank you so much, Angela. It's always a pleasure having you here at the studio. Thank you. Yeah, and thank you for coming. Thank you. Uh, so without, you know, uh, let's just get to the topic. Mm -hmm. um, I understand that breakups cause a lot of damage to an individual. So how much, um, to what extent does it affect someone uh, in, uh, psychologically, emotionally, and socially? I would say that uh, breakups in most cases don't just affect the person. Yeah. Alone. They affect, uh, like you said, socially, mm -hmm. so the society, the, pers the people that uh, maybe they mingle with or do even business with. So it, it is something that um, in most cases it affects the person plus the people who are around that person. Yes. And um, I would say it, it can affect you mostly emotionally and mentally, mm -hmm. but some, some of the breakups can even affect you financially, mm -hmm. probably in the cases where uh, you lose money in, yeah. the, in the course of the breakup, in the course of the breakup, or you end up getting sick and having to go to hospital mm -hmm. yeah so there's a lot of loss that can happen yeah yeah uh and so um uh when someone has experienced a breakup mm -hmm. first of all let us look at uh, i usually uh, uh my friends tell me and i've also gone through a heartbreak and there's that point where you you just wonder how am i going to get through this like how what would you tell a person who, uh, who is going through that stage where you yeah uh, speaking from experience and uh, from even having interacted with many other people yes, and um, having even looked at my story even much deeper because I, I was in a marriage that uh, I can say marriage in quotes because it wasn't a marriage that was uh, uh, we were in, in the same level of communication mm -hmm. because I was, I was communicating openly and honestly yeah. but he was communicating openly but not honestly yes. so <laughs> we ended up uh, breaking up and it was really messy because it affected me so much yeah. including my children mm -hmm. I have two children also children are also involved in this they, breakup there there's no way you can say that you went through a, a heartbreak yeah, and it did not affect your children if you have children well no no i i just imagine it's it's much messier when children are involved you yes. know you, you you're just not caring for your emotional needs now you have added other people who are affected emotionally yeah yeah and even in in other cases uh, when we are in a relationship many people out there our friends and our families yeah. If we are in a relationship that is not good for us, they always see and they always tell us. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, uh, the breakup will also affect them in the in the kind of, um, uh, let's say, the, the way you relate with them. Yeah. They will keep on telling you, we told you so. Mm -hmm. And nobody likes being told that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it can make you withdraw at your worst point. Yes, yeah. yes. It can, it can make you even withdraw more. Yeah. And, and you end up even losing friends and even some of the family members don't look at you the same way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so now, yeah, my point was at that point, mm -hmm. uh, how can you tell a person, uh, how will they deal with those? Uh, like, I usually imagine the first, like one week, two weeks, it's different for everyone. But that period of time after it just happened, what can you tell them um, uh, to, uh, what can you tell a person to help them overcome it and feel that it's not the end of the world? 
the first thing that I think people should do is to acknowledge that, yes, it has happened. Come to terms with it and yes. accept that it's, it's true, it, mm -hmm. is, it has happened. Sometimes people cling into so much, so much into the relationship that has already ended mm -hmm. instead of uh, looking at it like, yes, it has already ended and I need to turn the next, uh, flip the next page yes. of my story. Because we are here to write stories and we, or maybe God is using us to write stories mm -hmm. and know that, um, know mm -hmm. that, that, that story has ended or that page has ended. So you need to flip your page yes. and start writing a new story. Mm -hmm. So first accept, yeah. accept that it has happened, mm -hmm. acknowledge. Mm -hmm. Then now start looking deeper into yourself yeah. and ask yourself, what did I do mm -hmm. to contribute to this breakup? Because if you do not take responsibility for things that happen to you and nothing happens to us without us contributing to it. So if you do not take responsibility for that, then you end up even start blaming other people, mm -hmm. the person who has hurt you, and mm -hmm. even other people who are around you. You, t you start even telling those who didn't tell you that uh, it was wrong. Why didn't you guys tell me yes. that you should have done this and that? Yeah. Instead of taking that responsibility and acknowledging, yes, it is my responsibility to take uh, res uh, care of myself mm -hmm. and not to allow people to treat me the way they did. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, we have common way millennials approach breakups. So most of the time when someone uh, has broken up with a partner, you'll find them mostly talking about, talking ill of their person and their family. You'll find them, you know, they just want to sleep around with other people. Uh, they fake healing. Like, you know, you, you get someone, it's just a few days after and they're like, I am 100% okay. I'm ready to get into the game. Or you find others who go, who find refuge in drug abuse and alcohol. Yeah. So what would you comment first on their state of mind? And then, yeah, uh, these coping mechanisms, really? Yeah, some people vent so much mm -hmm. and uh, they even end up abusing. And many times you find that uh, it, it's like these people are not really moving on. Mm -hmm. they, they are not able to even start moving on. Yeah. So it is important to, to just know it happened and start moving, mm -hmm. start doing something about it. Yeah. Don't just uh, stick into that hurting position. Acknowledge, accept, and start doing something about it. Yes. Review yourself deeper. And what is... Um, uh, for these people, I would well, I would generally assume uh, this is an emotionally healthy, an emotionally healthy, a, a health, an emotionally healthy person would usually not deal with it th like this. Yeah. So by default, this is an emotionally, uh, you know, um, ill person. Yeah. Or yeah. unhealthy the, person. Their emotional intelligence is, is quite a bit low. Okay. So uh, you should work on your emotions, your mm -hmm. anger, mm -hmm. and know that uh, you can hardly make uh, uh, the right decisions or even or even have the right thoughts well, when so you're angry. Yeah, yeah. So what you're saying is the first thing is to look inwards, you know, yeah. before I even consider why we broke up. I, I first consider the anger and what is going on yeah, from yeah. within. Yeah, yeah. You have to look at yourself I with from within okay. and look for the solutions from inside you. Yeah. The solutions will only come from you. Because okay. You're the only person who can change your life or take, in, take care of yourself. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so comment, talk about... Uh, uh, coping mechanisms that cause harm to the yeah to the person who is going through the black the, the breakup. Sorry, I would say um, stay staying alone mm -hmm. or because that's a moment of stress. Yeah, and many times when we are stressed, you feel that I want to stay alone. I just don't want to be out with people. Mm -hmm. But when you're doing that, you are you're welcoming depression. Mm -hmm. So I, would, I wouldn't encourage anyone to be alone in mo many of the times. Yes. Seek help also. Seek help with the people that you love or even a counselor. Mm -hmm. Because any trauma, this is like trauma, any trauma that we go through, we have to seek help. We have to talk to people about yes. it. Yes. Because if you do not uh, deal with the pain, mm -hmm. somehow it will come and bite you. Okay. Pain that is not dealt with never goes away. So you have to have a way of dealing with that pain. Another way that people well, do... And, and on that, uh, yeah, can you expound on ways we can, people, ca uh, you can give, I people, give people ideas on ways of, you know, uh, coping with it? Or uh, I, I would say love yourself. 
Yeah. Love yourself first. And know that I am my own rescue. No one can rescue me. Yeah. And you, if you do not love yourself, no one will come and love you. Mm -hmm. So love yourself first. That is the first step. Mm -hmm. Then after that, maybe now, of course, love doesn't stop, but uh, you have to now keep on, uh, you talk to people, like I said, yeah. people who can help you. Then um, I would say, uh, yeah, get out there mm -hmm. and put yourself out there because this person is, um, is not the end of your story. Mm -hmm. Put yourself out there for other people to love you. Okay. Or, open your, yourself up but even before that yeah. you have to work on yourself because earlier i said that uh, you need to look at the, what you did to cause all that to cause those issues yes what was your responsibility to that uh, Problem. Okay, well, Angela, so hold, that take, thought, uh, hold that thought, hold that thought. Let's first of all take a very short break, but don't go too far because we're coming back to hear more on breakups and Angela will be telling more, uh, will be telling us more about her story. Why two, five, four? Imagine. Uh, welcome back. This is the Y254 News Highlights. And in case you're just joining us, our conversation is about how we can turn breakups or how we can make breakups a stepping stone and make sure that they do not break us. Instead, they steer us to be stronger. And so Angela has been telling us and sharing with us about her story. And uh, at this time, uh, at this point, um, I would I would want you to tell us how you dealt with your situation or how you dealt with your breakup. I would say my situation was a bit unique because I was, uh, I was cohabiting, I would say, <laughs> with a, 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 a man who was a foreigner. Yes. And um, it was a, a, a relationship that was first emotionally, um, I would say I was emotionally abused and financially um, uh, abused as yes. well. So now I had to deal with both those kind of things mm -hmm. because this person had, um, I had invested in his business and it did not work. It, it, the business wasn't really a truthful, he wasn't truthful to me. Yes. And it was also emotionally abusive because he was uh, promiscuous and he was also, yeah, he never used to speak the truth so about the things that he, does, he in, was doing. In short, he screamed at all areas that, you know, that uh, produced insecurities in you or that would have been insecure in you. The, he screamed at all those areas, like yes. financially, yeah, uh, yeah. destroyed you, maybe financially or yeah. affected you there emotionally. And there was also the weight of having a child before I met him. So even the child was, uh, was also in the mix of all this breakup. Yes. So uh, that's why I say mine uh, could have been a bit unique from other breakups. Yes, and uh, initially I was in denial. That's why I'm telling people do not be in denial. Don't, don't say that uh, it can't happen to me. Or no, I know this person. The way you knew that person, just uh, take the wrongs and mm -hmm. understand them and see and accept that it has been done to you. Yes. So because I was in denial, it took me so long for me to accept that this person is not good for me. Mm -hmm. Until a time when now, um, a lady called me from the other end while he had already left. He had left me actually pregnant. He left me broke. Uh, at that time, I, I wouldn't say we were not in good terms. We were still talking. Cause I, so I thought we were still in our relationship. And uh, a year down the line after he left, his, he, his wife, uh, someone called me, a lady called me from his country. And uh, she told me that they've been married for 10 years. And this guy has been lying to me and all that. And his family has been lying to me. So it was now uh, like um, a trauma yeah. after trauma mm -hmm. because he had left already. I yeah, was pregnant like one year down back. the line, you're still nursing. Yeah. Yeah, the, the weight and the heaviness of the situation. Yeah, and even in between the time he left and the time uh, I knew about that, there was a lot of lies because uh, initially we had agreed he comes back, he never came. We agreed again, we relocate to where he is, mm -hmm. and he never actualized that. Yeah. So there was a lot of lies and a lot of, uh, I, I would say I was, I was really uh, cornered into 
a place where I didn't even understand. Yeah. Yeah. So now after after being in that denial and then now this lady calls me and tells me I was broken, totally broken mm -hmm. and broke. Yes. So <laughs> broke and broken. I didn't know what to do. I had a child who is there, two children actually, because he had left me pregnant. So I was still in denial for some time, but I had good friends. So I reached out. So it is very important to reach out to people that, yes. uh, that really care. <coughs> so I reached out to my friends, my family, and they, they helped me. One, one of the friends gave me some work, mm -hmm. and I managed to make some money, and um, I got a small house where okay. I had to move to. So right now, as you tell the story, it's a story of victory. It's something you went through, conquered, and came <coughs> right on the other side. Even yes. better, I would imagine. Yes, yes. It, I, did, I came out stronger. I yeah. came out better, a, yeah. a better person. I'm proud of myself for what I've achieved. I had to even work on my children in a way that uh, they would also take it positively. Yes. And it, mostly the, the firstborn, because he was big enough to understand. So even him, I've, I've, become, uh, I've become a better parent with him yes. because we have a better relationship now okay. because of being able to open up with him. Yeah, since Angela time is not on our side, trust me, this conversation should, have, should go or it should take an hour or more. Yeah. So uh, as, uh, can give us a final comment on the, on the whole situation on this topic of breakups and advice you can give to many young people out there because I believe we have so many ladies, so many young ladies and young men out there who are affected by the same. And especially we have touched on uh, the person being a foreigner. Mm -hmm. Very many people want that for themselves. So <coughs> give us yeah, your insight and advice to young people out there. I would say, first of all, before you get into a relationship, make sure that you have worked on yourself. Work on yourself so that even when a breakup comes, you know that you can handle it. So work on yourself so much that you are aware of who you are. Your, your emotions are balanced, that you can handle anything that happens to you. And don't, don't take a breakup like the end of the world. Every end is a new beginning. So don't look at it like uh, a point of despair. Yes. If you do, then you'll remain there while the, the world is already revolving. Mm -hmm. it's already, everyone has moved on yeah. and you're still there. Okay. So make sure that you do not get stuck there. Okay, well, yeah. uh, thank you so much, Angela, for that discussion and actually for opening up and telling us ab ab about yourself. Mm -hmm. So uh, breakups are hard to deal with, but when it happens to you, please do not stay back, reach out to someone, talk to someone, look for people who can encourage you and help uh, and lift you up to, to be better. Because as we have heard, it's possible to turn a very painful and bad situation into something golden and to make my milestones in, uh, of growth in your life. That's all we had for you today. And in case you missed this conversation or you would want to revisit it, you just go to our YouTube page that is at, y2, uh, y2, at y, Y254 channel. Uh, we will get the vid videos of this and much more there. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.